federal agents reportedly have enough evidence to charge the president's son over tax crimes and gun purchases. Here to react, former acting attorney general, Matthew Whitaker. Welcome, Matthew. So great to have you on this morning. So here's my concern. There's a lot of pressure because there's so much overwhelming evidence on email and video and selfies of, you know, all of Hunter Biden's debaucheries. But they're getting him on guns and taxes. Is this a way to avoid getting him on the real big stuff that could lead to Joe Biden? Yeah, good morning, Rachel. Good to be with you. I think you're absolutely right. I think there is a much deeper case here to have on the foreign influence peddling, the Foreign Agent Registration Act, and some of the um, you know other crimes that are you know in plain sight in this laptop that the FBI has had for over three years. I think you know right now the U.S. Attorney in Delaware, who was a Trump appointee, uh, somebody that I worked with when I was at the Department of Justice. Uh, is having to decide whether or not to charge the president of the United States' son. And, um, you know, the one thing that I would remind him if, you know, if he asked is that, you know, justice is blind. You need to do justice without fear or favor, just like Merrick Garland always tells us. And in this case, this demands that Hunter Biden uh, be brought to justice. And, you know, to your point, it's not just tax case. It's not just an obvious uh, gun violation that, you know, is all the evidence uh, we've seen in pictures already. It is these other charges uh, that are, you know, deeply concerning because of their, you know, foreign ties and, and the, and the um, you know, compromise that it puts the president of the United States. Yeah, absolutely. And I think about all the things, all the people they went after around Donald Trump, trying to get Donald Trump on something big. Here you have a sitting president of the United States potentially compromised by our greatest enemies, China, Russia. Um, and you, you have everything in front of you and you're going after some gun charge. I mean, it's so apparently unjust and unequal in our system right now. I think, I think it's really um, eroding people's confidence in government. I want to move to another co topic that I think um, is also eroding America's trust in government and equal justice. And that is the case that the Biden DOJ has indicted 11 pro-life activists for exercising their American right to protest outside of an abortion clinic. Meanwhile, they've allowed Jane's Revenge, a domestic terrorist group who's, you know, firebombed pro-life centers for, for moms, uh, nothing there. How are they getting away with this? How is there not more outrage about what is happening to the weaponization of the DOJ against political enemies yeah. of the president? No, just like, yeah, Rachel, just like, uh, Donald Trump and his allies uh, being targeted, uh, you know, quickly and swiftly, and the Hunter Biden case languishing. This is languishing. This is the same challenge. As you know, it appears that not, not justice isn't blind. That justice is becoming a political activist, and you're seeing uh, on the one side, uh, you know, people being prosecuted very quickly uh, for crimes, and uh, if they're conservatives or Republicans, and on the other side, uh, it, it appears that the Department of Justice doesn't have any desire to even investigate some of these crimes uh, on these, you know, uh, the, family but, crisis centers and the like. But Ma Matthew, on this side, um, these pro-lifers were not um, committing any crimes. In the case of, of, Ma of Matthew Hauk, um, the liberal DA threw out the case because there was nothing there. I guess my question to you is what is the strategy? What is the Biden administration doing going back a year, two, three years, and you know, yep. arresting people or raiding their homes, indicting them over things um, that that there's no case for, but it's simply because they're pro-life. What is? What are they? What's the message they're sending? What are they trying to do? Are yeah, they well, signaling their base, or what is it? Yeah, the message is loud and clear, and that is that that they are pro-abortion, they are abortion enthusiasts, and that they are going to use every means necessary under the law. Uh, to advance that agenda, you know, that, that quite frankly, at, you're seeing after uh, the Dobbs case, you know, they are going to use the Department of Justice among all the tools they have in the toolbox uh, to try to advance, uh, you know, their worldview. Instead of winning it in the ballot box, instead of winning it uh, in the hearts and minds of the American people, they're just going to use, uh, you know, the sledgehammer of federal prosecution as their weapon, uh, you know, in this arena. Yeah, they're turning us into Cuba. Venezuela as they do it. Matthew Whitaker. Very concerning. Yeah, it is. Very, it's always great having you on. Um, always insightful. Right. Thanks Thank for you, joining Rachel. us this morning. Say hello, everybody. Thank you. You got it. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilney. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.